Thank you. Shout out Comedy Hype. This feels like I'm getting ready to do my Double XL magazine freshman year cipher. So thank you. This is very cool. Keep moving around a little bit with me. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Thank you. I'm from Atlanta. I've been here my whole life. Love it here. Wouldn't trade it. Uh, I will say it's getting a little out of control, though. Atlanta, getting a little out of control. Our Uber drivers are using cocaine now, which is, uh, yeah, I don't know if you heard about that. There was this dude in the news, like, uh, a little while ago. One of his customers, I guess, could tell he was on blow, like, during the ride. Um, and I just, I saw that, and I just thought, like, what gave that away? What gives away the coked-up Uber driver? How does he show up to your house? You know what I mean? Are you Nick? Yeah. Oh, get the fuck in. <laughs> GPS says 45 minutes. I think I can get us there in three. <laughs> Hope you like DMX. I don't like that the dude snitched. I don't like that he snitched on him. Because to me, you got him there faster. That was the first thing I thought. So if it's me, I, I, that's the thing. I don't care. You can do three lines of blow and knock over 19 people on the way to the destination. You get me there in half the time, the app said that you would. The worst review that I am going to leave is Dave was a little chatty, but he really knew his way around the city. <laughs> Four stars. That's the thing, you never know, you never know what you're gonna see in Atlanta. I saw some of the most Atlanta shit in my life. This was just a few weeks ago. I was at a CVS. I was walking into the CVS. There's a homeless dude that comes out of the CVS. I don't know what happened inside the building, but he was very upset. He's very upset with the clerks inside. As soon as he gets outside the doors, he spins around, looks at him back in the building, just goes, hating ass bitches. And then the door is closed. <laughs> it was incredible. It was incredible, right? Which is how I knew he was homeless, that he said that, right? No one with a home has haters at CVS. That's a fact. That's a fact. I get in there, I do my shopping, I pick out my stuff, I get back to the counter. The clerk in there, I, I see that little thing where she's like, you want to donate a dollar to heart disease or whatever? And I was like, ah, no thanks, not today. And she goes, oh, okay. I guess they just have to suffer then. That'll be 12.07. I swear to God she said that. <laughs> Cheryl, I can't believe you said that. She goes, I guess I'll just have to suffer. That'll be 12.07. And I was like, this hating ass bitch. How did, he, how did he know that? How could he tell, you know? You never know. You never know. Things are getting crazy now. Somebody showed, there's all those internet challenges out right now. Somebody just showed me the, the ice cream challenge is the latest one. That's this, this girl is going around a grocery store. She's popping the tops off of tubs of ice cream. She's licking the top like one time and then just putting it back on the shelf. Uh, which is exactly how I assume a gay dude would try a vagina for the first time. You know what I mean? It's just one down the middle, and then, you know what, that's actually going to be it for me. I appreciate, I appreciate that. That's not the flavor I was expecting, so thank you for that. But if you could point me in the direction of the hot dog aisle, I will be right on my way. It's nuts, man. The last thing I'll say about Atlanta is uh, we just had the Peachtree Road Race uh, go down, and... Um, it's real cool. My, my parents hold the finish line for the Peachtree Road Race. That's why I bring it up. Um, they've been doing it for like 20 years. They dress up as Betsy Ross and Uncle Sam. It's a real cute thing they do. We're not famous or anything. They pose with the winner, and then they move on. My biological parents did that for like 17 years. Uh, then we had a placeholder guy do it, this neighbor, real nice guy. Now my stepdad does it. So Atlanta's on its third Uncle Sam now. Uh, and my stepdad is black, so Atlanta now has its own black Uncle Sam. If that is not progress, comedy hype, I don't have a better example for you. It's fantastic. Way more of a fan of black Uncle Sam than white Uncle Sam, by the way. Way more chill version of Uncle Sam, you know what I mean? I feel like white Uncle Sam just way too in my face. You ever see the poster? He's just like, I want you. That's way too much. I don't need that, right? Black Uncle Sam would be more chill about that. Black Uncle Sam would be like, I got you. I don't know if you've ever had divorced parents and then the new relationship is interracial, but it gets very confusing for people who don't know you and don't know how you know the people you're with, right? So if I'm out with my dad, who still dates a white woman, they'll say, oh my God, are those your folks? And I just say yes, because it's close enough, right? <laughs> it's close enough, what am I gonna ruin it? Actually, sir, I don't even know this white lady. <laughs> Don't know her at all. But if I'm out with my mom and my black stepdad, people get very confused. People just go, oh my God. <laughs> are these your friends? What, uh, what are you doing here? Thank you, Comedy Hype. I'm a Nick Murphy. I appreciate that. What's up? This is Nick Murphy from Atlanta. You're watching Comedy Basement on Comedy Hype.